In this video, I'm gonna give you some tips on recycling. So enjoy the video! Well, hello. If you recycle, I wanna say congratulations and you deserve a standing ovation. And on that note, I live in a small town. I have lived in both city and country. And um, the thing that I enjoy about the country lifestyle now is we have more options to use our recyclables. So when it comes to recycling, we have a yellow container and they come pick up our recyclables every two weeks. And for something to be recyclable, it has to be, have a number from one, two, three, five, and seven. And like on this container right here, it has that symbol and the number is a five. So this can be recycled. And another benefit, you could reuse this as well to use it as a pot to plant your seeds in. Just add some dirt, some soil and plant your seeds. So you can always reuse this as well. Another thing is paper food cartons, aluminum and tin cans, trays, foil, copper, copper pipes, and brass fittings. But make sure you rinse out your containers. Shredded paper, it says to place in a sack or a bag. And the thing about living in the country, our shredded paper, we could give it to a farmer and he or she is able to use that as bedding for their pig farms or use, them, use it for bedding in their chicken coops. Or also, we can use it into a composting bench, which is a great source of carbon to help break down and make us some organic fertilizer. Newsprint, cardboard, magazines, phone books, catalogs, corrugated cardboard. It says with corrugated cardboard to break down and tie with a string. Newsprint, cereal boxes, and junk mail. Your junk mail, you can shred that up and use that as cardboard, uh, as carbon to help produce, uh, help your compost, but just don't put the plastic in there. But you can also shred that once again to use as um, a carbon source for your worms or your composting bin. The corrugated cardboard, living out in the country, we can use that as a weed preventer. And how that works, you can lay it down, flatten it out, the box, add some mulch on, mulch on top, get it wet, and that will help prevent weeds from uh, coming through. And also you can apply the brown cardboard onto the bottom of your raised garden beds and use that as a preventer for weeds as well. And also you can shred the cardboard and the newspaper and apply that to your compost bin or to your worm farm if you, home, if you have a worm farm going. And the final thing is glass jars and bottles, brown, green, or blue glass. So those are the things that you can recycle. Now, here's a list of things that you cannot recycle. You cannot recycle plastic bags or recyclable plastics and plastic bags. And what I do now is either take them to like a high V or a Walmart because they will take recycle bags back. So that's one place to recycle your bags. You cannot recycle glass, windows, light bulbs, or ceramic dishes. And also when it comes to your light bulbs, if you haven't already, start converting over to LED because it will help save your hard earned money. Now this one gets me, compostable cups, plastic utensils and bags, plastic and paper cups, tubs, lids and utensils, hazardous materials, food items such as pizza boxes, brown or uh, paper plates and napkins. And if you compost, you can put all those into your composting bin. So that's a way to recycle your pizza boxes, napkins, and paper plates. You cannot recycle plastic and styrofoam food containers and lids. And styrofoam is never going to break down. So stop buying styrofoam because that's not good for the environment as of already. And one more thing that we're not allowed to recycle is garbage or yard debris. When it comes to your leaves and your grass clippings, just put them into your composting bin, you know? So those are a few things we can and cannot recycle. 
What are your thoughts on recycling? Do you recycle? How often do you do it? And what are your tips to help someone else out? If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you found if you like what you're hearing from me. I just want to take the time out to say thank you for watching us, and you have a great day. Bye.